it's better to look poor and have money stacked in the bank than look rich and can't buy yourself a Happy Meal. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the vlog. Welcome. I do have stuff planned and that stuff is to either start a new business or have some kind of income generating. Before we even start today's vlog, I want to give a, a huge shout out to Humberto and Holly. Sorry if I'm not saying your name right. Um, wow, thank you. Thank you so much for the support. Uh, they go by The Professional on the YouTubes. And basically, I'm so grateful for all my subscribers, for every single last one of you. I, and again, I want to give a shout out to everyone that, that subscribed. Thank you so much. It, it really helps push me do these videos. There's a lot of times when really there's no, there's, there's really nothing going on. And I have to think of new things, but the, the, the laziness kicks in and, and I end up doing nothing. So again, uh, the support, the comments really helps me kind of get off my lazy butt a little bit and push forward. Yes. Thank you so much, um, Humberto and Holly. I did get a lot of uh, traffic flowing my way because you did you know, help me help get the video off the floor and kind of get a little bit of traffic coming in, which is, I'm so grateful. So grateful. Again, thank you. It's just a static electricity It's us moving to the sound I'll be going to Arizona to look for businesses and just to see how the business flow is there because I think LA is a little bit too saturated I'm not sure yet I get nothing set in stone but I'm still looking, I'm looking to, to, to start a new beginning, a new chapter. And something where hopefully I could kind of document enough of it. So if it works for me, it doesn't have to be the same business or obviously it's not gonna be the same business, but I mean, it could be, right? But if it works for me, that process, that process it takes from zero to hero uh it will be documented and you guys can follow along if you guys are in the uh, i guess in the, in the in the business field or in the market to start a business to make money this is what happens when you come with jason Is that enough for you? No? I'd like to be a millionaire. <laughs> you don't feel any different? No. Of course not, because money doesn't bring happiness. What is up guys? So we are in the car. I'm with my friend here. And he's finally finished with his escrow. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So you can a lot of these vlogs now are gonna be like this because we're gonna take a pretty long road trip and it's gonna be in this car. Because um, now my millionaire friend still drives a Kia Optima. That's for, how you stay rich. <laughs> that's not how you stay rich. <laughs> don't spend money. <laughs> There's nothing. Okay. If you drive a Kia Optima, don't get offended. It's a nice car. It just doesn't go for it that well. You know, it's, it's a very practical car. Exactly. Practicality. But, but he not came... Not extravagance. He came from a Lexus ISF, the actual ISF. The one with the whole V8, the actual F. V. So yeah, when F was first introduced, he had that ISF. And that was like a, a V8 powerhouse. And he went from that to a freaking Kia Optima and it's not because he doesn't have money. What the hell? <laughs> and then, okay. And then, okay, obviously, we all know that he's, he sold the store. He has, he's sitting pretty, you know, the millionaire that he is. Um, so you would expect him to get a, a better car. And now his next car is gonna be a Toyota Prius. <laughs> Practicality, my friend. No. 
I mean, it's fine, I guess, but no. Cars are depreciating values of items. Thing, Useless. The thing about money, though, is that it always comes and goes. It's not like... It comes and goes a lot faster if you buy useless shit. No, because yes. I've got a business. See? Being cheap. I bought, I stole me a, a peanut butter cup so I can eat now. If you've ever seen a ghetto millionaire, that's this guy right here. He's the example of the ghetto millionaire. No one will ever know he has money. Of course not, ever. I Dickie. But I, I guess I'm, I'm in the same boat kind of too because when I went to the BMW dealer, they didn't look at me until they ran my credit. Always. Yeah, right? I do, huh? What? You, you can't get discarded, that kind of face. And then they're like, I'm gonna get it. He said, like, oh, okay, we gotta check your credit first. Run my credit. Mr. Choi, have a seat. <laughs> it's better to look poor and have money stacked in the bank then look rich and can't buy yourself a happy meal. Because <laughs> that makes nobody happy. <laughs> but I mean, a prime example, again, money doesn't bring happiness, guys, but it does matter to an extent. Yeah, on what you eat? <laughs> do you shop on the two for two dollar menu or do you go filet mignon? <laughs> oh, which reminds me. We're gonna go back to Stockyards. The best steak I've ever had in my whole life. Hopefully my friend will enjoy that because he's also a carnivore. High expectations if it doesn't fulfill your pain for the bill. Fine, whatever, I don't care. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> here's the thing. Always when I pay, we screw up. <laughs> and it's not like I don't pay for the cheap stuff too. Like, we got. <laughs> Always go for the main course and it never works out. <laughs> oh, that's funny. It's like that that uh, sushi meal that we, uh, between the two of us, it was like serving for 10, right? That was a f serving for five. Oh, whatever. It was still like a freaking 300 and something dollar meal. Uh, flop. <laughs> <laughs> Total flop. And guess whose turn it was to pay? <laughs> but then. When we go to like a whatever's restaurant that's like 20, 30 bucks, it, it's freaking delicious. No expectations, always and, good. Yeah, and he's got it, 30, 30 bucks. Hey, but I get five times of those versus the one extravagant meal you get. Recently, we went to BCD. <laughs> that was retarded. <laughs> and we're hitting a 50 bucks here. It's not that pricey, but for two people, 50 bucks, you know, you get something nice, but it's not like the best. You should've went to the barbecue place. I mm, should've. But anyways, it's not, I can say it's not about the money. But whenever I send to pay, whenever I, it's like I, I decide to pay. I thought it was gonna be cheap. Let's get this straight. I thought it was gonna be cheap. I thought it was gonna be cheap. I didn't know the price went up that. You got the most expensive thing on the menu. Yeah, but who would've thought tofu soup would cost $20 with three pieces of meat or six pieces of meat, really? Anyways, he got the Kyrie combo. Whatever. Doesn't matter. As long as he enjoyed it, right? Didn't. Nope. Nope. It was horrible. Frozen meat. Yeah, yeah. The meat the meat was so so it wasn't flavored right and it just the quality of it was crap. But your stock yard is totally different. So worth it. <laughs> Next, you know, when we go in, it's fucking not marinated right and it's frozen. <laughs> I no. swear, I swear it was good. Oh, and there's an Italian place that's freaking bomb too. I have had bad luck with Italian food lately. Oh, no. this place is amazing. No, I went to the one that was on Yelp. I, no, I don't follow 10,000 reviews, mm. positive. So that's what I did the first time I went to Arizona and it was a total flop. Total flop. But this time I went to Old Town, Scottsdale, and I asked the oldest people I know what are the good restaurants around here. Everything they recommended was just peach. Yeah, because old people don't use Yelp. Yeah. yeah. They actually use a taste test. <laughs> <laughs> they use that word of mouth system. Mm. Yes, that place is good. Mm -hmm. You should go there. Mm -hmm. That's good. Not paid reviews. Please go. We'll give you a $10 discount on your next meal. Okay, thank you. It doesn't help. Like when the food tastes so bad and they mess up so bad and they go, oh, we'll cover your meal. It, it doesn't help me. It doesn't make me feel any better. It's not like I'm gonna walk out of it. Whatever, you cover a $20 meal. It's not, I mean, it's not, 
I don't know, it just it still ruins the experience. It's like your filet mignon at, at Black Ingus. Oh, the one they cooked wrong f three times? Four times? Three or four times they cooked him a piece of steak that was well done when he asked for medium rare. And then after all that... I told him bring it rare then. Yeah, but he, either or he <laughs> ate it medium, right? Because they couldn't, they couldn't get the concept of medium rare. Uh, but then they tried four times, kudos. And finally the, the, the business manager comes out. He's like, we're so sorry, the cook is new. <laughs> <laughs> Always the days that Yeah Yeah I got that meal too right No I got that meal No no I think I got that meal No I got that meal Did you get that meal Yeah I got that meal I was upset Remember I had to pay for a meal I didn't want I wouldn't have been complaining oh, If you that... had to pay <laughs> Yeah but, but the bill came out to be like 15 to 20 bucks Of course they drove my steak off <laughs> So whatever you go it works out. <laughs> no, it doesn't. I rather pay and have a good meal, or you pay and we both have a good meal, yeah, than end true. up paying for a meal that both of us didn't like. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's it, then the experience just. It's like it's like buying a car that you think is gonna be your dream car and then find out it's a lemon. That's like it, your Kia Optima. No, I, I had, no, the Kia Optima, I had no expectations, so it, there was nothing wrong with it. Don't get me wrong, I don't drive an exotic car at all. I just think that, but then this is like the lower limits of what you should be driving. No. My next car, I told you, is a Toyota Prius. My God. I have nothing, I can't, nothing wrong with Priuses that and Kia Optima. That way I can be Optimus. a retard driver. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just saying. Look at how sporty that Toyota looks. Corolla. See, it looks so sporty, but it doesn't go nowhere. That's like your Kia Optima. It doesn't look sporty, though. It, it, it was advertised as sporty. No, nowhere in the in the commercial does it say sporty. No, 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 no. no. In the commercial, the, the car was speeding through little eights and shit. And it was Optima. But it doesn't say sporty. It just says <laughs> economical. You can afford it. One ninety nine lease. There's a sports <laughs> mode on it. You can afford it. One <laughs> <laughs> it's not like Corolla S where they put the S to be sporty and it doesn't go nowhere. See, my my Optima doesn't have an S. I don't S. think the S is for sporty. What's it stand for? Sedan. Slow? <laughs> no, because the S doesn't come with a better engine. It just comes with a little body molding. Sporty. Sporty, not sport. Mm. Sporty looking. You know, like rice. Mm. Racing, Racing is fire. fire. <laughs> Cosmic. No, no. Cosmetic. Cosmetic. Enhancements. Enhancements. <laughs> yeah. But that's cool though. Yeah, so we're gonna do a lot of this. Hopefully. Prius. See? Look at how sporty it looks. No, hell no. No, no, no. I'm gonna get a wider lens. I'll probably put it here so we can see both of us while we hit up the 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 business trip that we're gonna go on. And hopefully you guys can follow us, do what we do, and be as happy as we are. But at the end, just remember just laugh. You, Yeah, you gotta laugh. You gotta live well and just just laugh more. And that's what that's what life's all about. Look at me, I'm flat broke and I'm laughing. <laughs> Hold on, before you go in, let me put this in the... No, no, take it up, take it up with you. Why? So we can give it to my wife, it'll be hilarious, trust me. <laughs> I don't know how that's gonna be hilarious, but okay. He got half his, uh, half his escrow check-in for the business, so uh, I, I, I can't record my wife, she won't let me, but uh, I'll enjoy the shit out of it. Oh, that's awfully close. Yeah, I know. But I'm a damn good driver. It's a damn small car. <laughs> hey, it's not a small car. See, it's not compensating. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> you don't get a Lamborghini <laughs> to compensate. I don't need a compass again. <laughs> yeah, this is a pretty puny car, huh? Whatever, it works. Uh. I'm in the passenger seat of my car. I'm not driving. This feels <laughs> fantastic. Oh, yes. We're here, we're gonna eat at Asahi Ramyun. It's like my wife's favorite restaurant. of closure for violation of California Health and Safety Code. Oh my god, really? And you guys have been saying this is the top place of the world? Well then again, Saget, Saget, Saget. But here, today, it's a Korean person. So I'm like, I'm like, I'm So we just we just ate at Chin Chin Curran. Ch Chin 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 Curran. Hiroshima Yaki. The, yeah, yeah. My wife had the Hiroshima Yaki. Um, Jason had uh, the something something Yaki. <laughs> <laughs> well, these are all Hiroshima style Yaki. And I had the, the Chin Chin Curran Yaki. Yeah. So I don't know. Like the food was okay at the beginning. <laughs> But it just got really repetitive. It's all it is is just ramen noodles that's been like stir fried, and then the Worcester sauce, pretty much. You guys are one and one the same. Why? Wife, best friend. There's a reason, right? <laughs> born in the same month too. Blood yeah. type the same. Blood types the same. Born in the same month. I mean, come on. You guys are the same sign. Same. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, yeah, see? Yeah, they're both lambs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're using the turbos. We're going to Beverly Hills to get dessert. Because is what he wants. So the, the Chin Chin Curran Yaki, that's what my wife wanted. The, <laughs> the Beverly Hills dessert, that's what Jason wants. You don't get what you want because you want a graphics card. Or and I, I don't get what I want because I want a graphics card. <laughs> but it's okay. Life happens. Anyways, yeah, so the service was absolute shit. Oh, because everyone that was working there, including the cooks, were drinking. And like two of the waitresses were drunk, kept dropping shit, not coming when we asked them to come. Uh, my Diet Coke was never refilled. I didn't even, like the first cup of Diet Coke, I only took one sip of. And we did like we were waiting for a refill because I wanted some of my delicious, refreshing Diet Coke, and they never like they took them like five minutes to refill it. So yeah, I, I don't I don't know. I mean, it was good. It's a good experience. If you've never been to Chin Chin Karen, it's not a bad place to go. Just make sure you get the small. Yeah, it's really big. But if you've been there, 
then you'll know that you don't want to go back there. Like, it's just the service is crap. But the food's okay at the beginning, the first two bites. But then again, it's like the same thing over and over again. There's really not much change in it. Like, it's really weird to say that because we got three different things and we all shared. And it was still repetitive. It tasted the same. It tasted the same, yeah. All right, guys, so we're here at Freeze Me Ice Cream Deluxe thingy. So this is supposed to be the... I'm not sure how much of that you got on footage, but... Alright guys, I'm Sama. In the vlog here, we're back. Um, my friend's knocked out. Uh, so I'm gonna let him sleep a little bit before he has to take a drive. Don't want to be too loud. Um, but yeah, that's it. We did a lot of stuff today. And for the most part, I'm still working on upgrading that Mac Pro. I just got the uh, 128 gigabytes of RAM in uh, the PC 10. 80 or whatever it is, the 133, the 1,333 megahertz RAM, and yeah, that's it. That sent me back 470. But my friend Jason actually got it for me, so uh, hopefully that'll be done. I still have so much more to go. I have the CPU, which is going to be last because the CPU that I have in there is actually pretty powerful the way it is. Uh, video card, it's kind of important and the hard drive, those three that are the main kind of important things that I need to take care of. So I'll, I'll take care of that. But guys, thank you for watching. I hope you guys have a great day, great night, great whenever you're watching this. And remember, live well, laugh more.